What's up guys, it's Jari. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today I'm just gonna go over a quick routine that are that is for my beginners out there, more for your hip openers. So anyone can follow this from beginners all the way up to advanced. It'll be a great workout to do before your um like your 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 squats, your leg workout, or just a good workout to just open up your hips and gradually start to get more flexibility and mobility in your hips. All right. So we're gonna start with our leg swing. So we're gonna bring the legs out here for one just lifting up two three and you just want to kick up as high as you can four five nothing too crazy six we're going to go ten on each side seven eight nine and ten other side for another one lifting up two hit three hit four boom five up six you can hold on to something if you need to. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. From here, just gonna take it into squats. Have your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, toes pointing straight ahead. You can also turn the hips or turn the feet out here as well. Just sitting back for one, two, three. Drop your seat as much as you can. Four, five six seven just straight back eight nine and ten from here we're going to bring that left foot forward right foot is back and we're just going to reach up into our crescent pose okay so we're going to bring the knee bend the front knee that left that right leg is back from here we're going to put the hands on the small of the back and push the hips forward for one, straighten the leg, two, each time you want to try to get a little bit deeper, three, four, five, we're stri um, straightening that right leg, six, getting a little bit closer to the floor each time, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From here, we're going to drop that right knee to the floor and then push forward here in our low lunge. We're gonna turn that left foot out a little bit to open up your hip more and push the hip down. Let's hold it here for another 10, nine, eight, seven, squeezing the glutes to push the hip down, five. You can also come here to your fingertips or to your palms or all the way down to your forearms. Let's bring it up. And we're just going to push the leg straight and we're going to do that on the opposite side of the body so that right foot is going to come forward we're going to inhale take the arms up exhale bring them behind you and then we're going to push the hips forward for one two breathe in three getting a little bit lower each time if you can four whoa five six squeeze your glutes tight seven eight nine and ten from here we're going to drop that leg down pushing that left hip towards the floor all right holding it here either up on your knee on this right knee with that right foot turned out a little bit or come to your fingertips or your palms or drop down to your elbows let's hold it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 when you're doing this you want to try to hold it for at least 30 seconds or five breaths okay for at least 30 seconds to five breaths now we're just going to sit back we're going to cross the right ankle extend the left knee we're gonna cross that right ankle over the left knee, okay? Like kind of on top of it, and then bend the knee as you slide your hips forward. We're gonna push that right knee out. From here, we're gonna inhale, chest up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine 
and 10. Relaxing from there. Other side, we're gonna extend the right leg out. Left ankle comes over the right knee. Bring the right foot in, slide close, and then lift the chest for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, pushing the chest up, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. From here, we're going to bend the knee, drop that left foot to the floor, and we're going to twist back, pushing this front thigh into your stomach, looking over the left shoulder, or you can close your eyes, but sit up as tall as you can. Bring that left hand into you, okay? As close as possible. Let's hold here for another 10. Again, you wanna to try to hold these poses for at least 30 seconds on each side. If you need a timer, have the timer or count your breaths, anywhere between five to 10 breaths, okay? Let's release that. And let's do that seated twist on the other side of the body. So you can keep your bottom leg straight or you can bend the knee, okay? So this is the straight version right here. Just twist and back or bend the knee and get a little bit deeper in the pose. And we're going to release that. We're going to do one more, okay? We're just going to bring the feet together here sitting up nice and tall we're going to use the elbows to push the knees down as you sit up keep your spine straight use the elbows to push the knees down as you lean over the feet okay so we're going to have the head leveled with the spine for the first few breaths push the knees down and let's take it into butterflies here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 four three two and one now from here we're going to drop the head grab the feet if you can a little bit more as you pull your head towards your feet grip the legs grip the muscles to push those knees out or continue to use your elbows to push the knees closer to the floor again let's breathe with each exhale pull yourself closer or more over the feet Hold it for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Releasing that, we're going to tuck the chin into the chest and just round the back and allow the head to float on top of the shoulders. And do this as many times as you want. Hold the poses longer if you can. Uh, try to reach at least a minute, okay, as you start to loosen those hips up, as you start to loosen up your body a little bit more. Try to hold those poses for a little bit longer each time, all right? That's how you're going to get better and teach the muscles how to stay lengthened out, all right? Do this routine as many times as you can, but other than that, I'll have some more coming out for you guys. Let me know what you would like to see, and I will see you in the very next video, all right? Ajudui.